Today is Saturday, May 8th, and on Thursday, May 6th, I ordered this RD6LM from Reverb. It was early in the morning. They had five of these listed. I grabbed one. About 10 minutes later, they were all gone. They also had 10 red ones, and those two are also gone. So in answer to the question that was presented in the last video about the RD6AM, will I be using it for 606 day? No, I won't. It's going to stay boxed up put away for the time being and I'm going to use this one instead. Uh, I'm going to do a demonstration of that here shortly. I'm not going to do an unboxing video. What I'd rather do instead is talk about just really quickly just a few changes that we've made. The Delta SEP is now up here where the A01 used to be. I've kind of moved a few things around to fit it in. It's much better here. I had to get rid of the MPX-8. It's not going to work out. Crazy story. For whatever reason, the audio coming out of that before I had it going into the Delta Sep A, and now the Delta Sep A is just not picking it up. I don't understand what, why. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to roll with it, and instead I'm going to use the Arturia Key Step. This is so cool because now all I need to connect it to the rig is one USB cable. Moving on, I moved the two uh, mini chaos pads that I use for the TR08 and TR09 up here. It's rather unideal. I think it's going to be okay in the meantime. And the reason is I needed to get the Converter Plus here. This is a great little box. I'll have to go into details of what this does a little bit later, but for the most part, this takes an, any audio signal in and converts that to CV gate. So it's ready to play with all the cool semi-modulars here. Here is the subharmonicon, and it fits in beautifully right next to the DFAM. Uh, once again, same kind of thing. I'm able to get MIDI in with this one little cable here. It's pretty cool. And then this leaves space right here where the Converter Plus used to be, the Planting Spice, and this is going to be something new. That's right, one more, and hopefully that's the end of it. Okay, so before we end, I want to show you one thing. Let's go behind the scenes real quick. Because this is the part that nobody ever really talks about. So here's some of my spare cables. The lighting is really bad. I do apologize, but I'll get around to using these, or I won't. And this is just where things get crazy. So, as you can see, there is a lot going on back here. And it is not fun to have to come back here and figure out when something goes wrong. And it only gets better when we get to the patch bay. And uh, well, not just the patch bay, but the rack mounted stuff as well. And this continues all on around, back through here. More stuff. I've even got more lighting going on here. More power stuff, more power stuff. This is one of my MIDI through boxes that I built. And then just kind of giving a view of everything from behind the scenes. And so far, to tell you the truth, this actually all works out really, really well, believe it or not. Anytime I need to switch something around, it doesn't take me too long to figure out what's going on. But again, I try to keep it as simple as possible. There's the AY3. 